lines of paper and try to forget it, but you all talked about addressing uh, generational differences as part of the challenge. So many companies now are posting job positions on the internet and identify virtual positions, hybrid positions. You know, this isn't necessarily an in-the-office from nine to five position, which is very attractive for um, a number of generations that have grown up using technology and media. So are all great organizations doing that? Or do you know? I'm catching them off guard where they might not have known the answer to that, but I'm curious. Do you know the answer to that? Well, GameStop is really, um piloting a remote working uh, environment. Mm -hmm. Because we're, even though our, uh, our workforce in the field is probably, i say, 70% more generational, you know, the younger generation millennials, is that the new phrase now? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but then at the corporate office, you know, there's a mix of traditional baby boomers. And then, you know, you try to, Help them to understand our generation. They want to do more than they want to work from home. Uh, you can trust them. They can make sure they're all media experts. So we're trying to implement that remote working. But it's it's interesting mm -hmm. because we still have that mentality of they need to be here. What are the challenges? Mm -hmm. and, and we're Lockheed Martin is uh, doing that in terms of implementing virtual where it's possible. Mm -hmm. and to build an airplane, you almost have to be present to, to, right. to, uh, to put an airplane together. But do you have to be present to uh, conduct a, you know, a meeting? If you go to the external Lucky Martin Careers website, uh, when you apply for a job, I think there's a drop down that says, is this job virtual? And they'll say, Yes, they do, you know, because there's usually yes, relocation, yes, uh, et cetera. Uh, and we do have, I think, about that box that says, it can be. And I have, I've had a number of folks who work for me, working virtual, and I know a number of employees that do work. But it's not just the employee working virtual, it's us working across all of these different sites and working in this virtual environment. So. A manager has to learn how to operate in a virtual environment, not just hire team members that might be virtual, but we do, we are doing that. And looking at, at, at the, how we engage with our workforce in terms of saying, uh, you know, some people don't want to work full time, they want to work 20 hours, you know, half time, or uh, some unique kind of working situations for our employees. Uh, we're looking at that because we want to get the best and the brightest and we're going to get that in there. For us, uh, there's a, a great mix, just like Dave mentioned. You know, at American, we have a great deal of positions that are customer facing. So you'll go to, at the airport and you're going to find, you know, a real person there, right? But maybe in a headquarters uh, facility, you may have some opportunities of some virtual positions. It kind of goes back to the challenge that I noted earlier. You know, it's not universal. It really, right now, is still challenged by certain departments. Some departments still like to have the in-person teams, while others are more comfortable in a virtual setting. Uh, so we don't have anything that's really universal. What has happened in the reservations environment, however, is that for the last 10 years, more or less, that we've been hiring, we've been doing more home-based uh, reservations agents. And that has proven to be very successful. You know, people would like to do reservations from the comfort of their own homes. And so when we had, um, you know, the challenges financially in the U.S., remember when gas was really expensive, 
when new employees come on and uh, we get feedback from those new employees, one of the things I like is that we do have flexible work weeks. So you can start to work at nine instead of seven. Or there is some possibility to move that. We, we work here or at Aeronautics on what we call a 980 schedule. So we get every other Friday off. Sometimes we have to work on those Fridays and that can work for us. But that's one one thing that people just seem to they say, hey, I get every other Friday off. That's a great benefit. And it really is. <laughs> it's uh, but, but offering that sort of thing really is uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely.